Hey everybody, so the last few days here in Houston have been insane. Since I posted the video for the uh, Single C Challenge Update video number four, there has been rain and cold nonstop, like just nonstop. And I have not been able to finish a few of the projects that I had projected to be done this weekend. Now today's a beautiful day, but one of the stores that I need to be open is closed, so I can't finish the I can't finish bringing in the material. Which is all fine and dandy, it's all good because for the next week or so we're still going to be down in the 30s and 40s in the evening at night. So the March 1st frost date or the, the March 1st projected date that I had for getting things planted is going to be pushed back a week. So I'm going to be looking at probably the 8th of March to start getting stuff in the ground. Hopefully by then the weather will start to get to normal spring weather and not this crazy cold nasty weather that we've had. So over the last month or so, I've been doing projects. I've posted some, and I haven't posted some. So this video is going to be just what I've done over the last month to start preparing for the spring garden. Uh, this isn't an educational video. This is just kind of like an update of what I've been doing, prepping, getting stuff ready, uh, what the garden's going to, what my backyard's going to look like here in the spring, and um, I am actually very excited. For the spring i'm ready to i mean i say that in all the videos but i am excited i'm ready to rock and roll with this and get it going but gotta have the weather cooperate so um <laughs> so yeah let's check this out Okay, and as you saw right there, I've got a lot of things going. I've got these two new beds that are blue. They weren't supposed to be blue, but the the, the plastic that comes on them, I can't pull off. So it's, it wasn't the best quality plastic, let's put it that way. But So I'm just going to leave them. It is what it is. Uh, the beds against the wall, I have not got the trellises bought yet, but that's coming this week. I'll get those bought, cut, and... Uh, anchored to the wall to the uh, to the walls over there that way I can get the cucumbers and beans and everything planted here uh, in a week from now or so a little over a week from now so that's everything I've been doing over the last month I'm definitely ready for this garden to start for the spring to start We've got a lot of excitement and a lot of uh, hope for the spring garden because I did really good last year and that was just my first year so um, I do want to thank everyone who's been all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers. I want to thank everyone who's watching this channel, following me on this journey. Um, it means a lot. I, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And um, 
it, it means it, it makes me very happy when I have people who are telling me that I'm an inspiration and I'm helping them um, find a voice here on YouTube and everything because I had someone who inspired me, which is no secret of who I'm talking about. And um, so yeah, so thank you everyone. As always, hey, check me out on check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, and um, you know, definitely here in a week or so, it's gonna be for real. <laughs> a shine bright and harvest hard.